talking to Travis after the game, he said that essentially one mistake snowballed into another, into another, and there was they just couldn't stop the bleeding. How did you sort of see how things started? Yeah, we were just dis we were disconnected. You know, we had uh, we got to find a way to get more connected for the Chicago game. A, a lot of the guys in the room said that they were disappointed that they didn't even give Keith a chance. Do you feel that that sort of happened there tonight? As far as Keith, you mean? Yeah, Keith, I, it, this yeah. isn't about one player. This is about our team. Oh no, no, no! I'm saying yeah. that the, the team did not give him a chance. Let's not talk about one guy. We okay. didn't give ourselves a chance. Was there a thought of maybe taking Keith out despite no. the fact that there no. was? He's got to battle through it. What was the turnover by, and again, I'm not picking on him, just that turnover where Thomas flips it and Barbashev scored early on on that giveaway? There's was numerous things on that. It's a goalie, it's the other guys too. It's, a, it's, a con, it's when I said it was disconnected. And it didn't feel like it set the tone for the game, I mean, because it feel, felt like they were dominating pretty heavily there in that first period. Did you have that same feeling? Yes. Travis just basically said it couldn't get any worse than this. How do you evaluate the game as a whole, just given by what you experienced without looking at all the film? Yeah, it wasn't wasn't very good in any facet. How do you salvage the rest of the trip? Well, it's, I mean, it's like everything. I mean, it's it's one. This is one game. We got another game in two days from now. We got a practice day tomorrow, so we're not worried about the rest of the trip. We're just worried about tomorrow and refocusing and making sure we're uh, ex working on the things that we weren't good at tonight, which is a lot of things that we got to be better against Chicago.